the Oakville Public Library, normally a gathering place for literature and learning. But tonight, the community gathers in mourning. Assalamu alaikum. It is good to be here, but it's also very sad to be here. It's unfortunate that these are the circumstances in which we have to meet. Even when we're suffering, even when we're facing trauma and grief, we still come together and stand strong. All sectors of the community, and that's what's so beautiful about the Canada that we know and the Canada that we love. No matter race, creed, or color, hundreds of Halton residents came together to show their support for the tragedy that has been widely labeled a terrorist attack, and yet another example of Islamophobia. The Quran teaches us to respond to hate and hostility with love and peace. We must stand united and defend the values of our great nation. We must condemn hatred and racism in all its forms, and it only leads to death and destruction. Speakers at the event shared words of condolence and grief, but issued a strong warning that Canada is not immune to hate crimes and called for government support and action. For far too long, we have allowed voices of hate in Canada to take root, to nurture, and to spread. And we're asking you to not only support us, stand with us, but walk with us, walk the talk, and walk in our shoes. Federal, provincial, and municipal members of government were in attendance at the event and endorsed support for the Muslim community, including Oakville Mayor Rob Burton. This was a frightening, horrible event, because no matter how much you follow my advice to engage and expand and show people how good we are, that does not defend you when you're walking, when you're taking an innocent walk and some idiot decides to kill you with a truck in a premeditated, hateful, horrible manner. Although some shouted with anger, the majority of the attendees stood quiet and somber, paying their respects for the fallen family by lighting candles and laying down flowers. All with the hope that next time they visit the library, their hands will be full of books and not bouquets. For Halton News, I'm Jason Agnew.